All right, hello. In this video, I have an important question for you that might be a tiny bit racist. Do you really, 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 really hate the Grenier enemies? Like, do you really hate the Grenier enemies? In case you answered yes, this video is just for you because I have the Warframe for you. So, if we go to the Grenier enemies and we check them out, most of them we will find out are weak to either corrosive or radiation and all of them have health so they are also weak to viral but if we go through every enemy we'll see time and time again corrosive sometimes cold radiation and viral that's it every enemy the same except executioners for some reason they're weird yeah, every single Grenier enemy, corrosive, radiation, viral, and cold. Now, why is this important? Because first of all, these elements do more damage to them. Radiation and viral specifically do way, way more damage. They completely one-shot them. And corrosive also strips their armor. So what if we could reliably have a setup that would deal every single one of these damage types at the same time? Right? And I present to you Oberon. Yes, this guy. He is honestly quite amazing. Um, struggling a bit with survivability because you need to health tank with Phoenix Renewal. But uh, overall, he's not that hard to build and I like it. So, now obviously, here I would need another Forma or, you know, whatever Exes I would I would want to put. Probably, I don't know, what would I even put? Because if I remember correctly, this guy doesn't care about knockdowns. Oh no, he does. Oh. You could do Prime Shirt put it, I guess. If you want to be that guy. <laughs> but, uh, we are using the Torrid. The turret is one fun favorite weapon and overall. I'm not gonna show the build just yet because I wanna explain this. So what's happening here? Um, still charge is obviously not correct. I just don't have anything else to put so I can fit the mods currently. The best case scenario would either be holster rump or something like, I don't know. What else could you do? Combat discipline? Enemy Raider. There's not like any aura can do, honestly. Because he doesn't really need any. But I would probably pick Holster Ramp. Holster Ramp is insane. No, no one really uses it. And on honest to god, we have radiation from here. And we have nourish giving viral damage from here. Which is also about to get nerfed. So the viral damage is not gonna overweigh every other damage type that we care more about, which is corrosive and radiation. It already doesn't, but after the nerf, it's going to be even, even better. So, you just... What the fuck? Oh, it's... Wait, why didn't it change to infected clip? There we go. I was like, why the hell does it write magnetic toxin there? <laughs> that was a bit weird. So... Corrosive cold. Uh, higher weighting on corrosive, obviously. Cold is nice because it will increase the crit damage over a weapon. And yeah. Uh, this stretch, honestly. I mean, what did you expect? Level 180 heavy gunner Eximus? You just do your abilities. And yeah. You can see all the procs. No even mod, whatever. Don't matter. Pretty nice. And you can say, well, this is just Torrid doing Torrid things, but... Honest to God, no matter what kind of enemy I spawn here, the same outcome will happen. And also, I don't think the Torrid primary fire one-shots these enemies normally. But this one does, I can prove it. So... Let this run out of purpose. Oops. And I just shoot this guy. Three hits. It do be quite strong. 
So, few things uh, to explain before I go to a normal mission and show you actual results. First of all, we don't want very high power strength or ability strength, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is because radiation damage coming from smite infusion will overlap any kind of corrosive damage and tank corrosive stacks are way, way, way more uh, damage than... 10 radiation stacks. So even though you're increasing your damage by adding more power strength, you're decreasing your overall DPS because of the procs that you're dealing. So you don't want high amount of ability strength. Um, your ability strength is just enough for Phoenix Renewal to feel really nice for the healing. Uh, in terms of tankiness, we're using Vazarin to help ourselves in case things go a bit weird. And any melee weapon of your choice, throwable uh, would be better, that has the melee fortification arcane. So, in my case, I would be using a Glaive Prime, and the melee fortification arcane would help me get a lot more tanky in case things went bad, so I could help myself with regening my HP through Phoenix Renewal. And you never really run out of energy because this setup uses Hunter Adrenaline, and since you're health tanking, you're always going to be at maximum energy. So... Let's go to the Orbiter, get inside a normal Grenier mission, and show this in action. But yes, this is arguably the best uh, setup that you could do to kill Grenier enemies specifically. The other way to do it would be to take this on something like Saren, but I mean, Saren is unfair, guys, come on. We can, can we all agree that taking Saren and making damage builds using Saren is not fair? I made a Zenistar one-shot an Acolyte because he spawned on the disc. It's... That shit is not... It's not normal. So... Oberon, then. Why not? Let's let's revive some other frames that could be fun. Oberon also provides, you know, Phoenix Renewal to the entire squad, so... Pair him with Wisps, a train, your squad is unkillable. Feels good, man. So... Let's wait for enemies before we activate Phoenix. Alright, we activated. And now we will constantly be at full energy, Hunter and Adrenaline plus Nourish. And we are kind of unkillable. Obviously the damage, I don't think I need to talk about it. This is a Torrid with Radiation, Corrosive, and Viral. It will shred anything it touches. Yeah. I mean... I can just end the video here. If you want to see the tankiness, here. Wait, let me get on the corridor again. I mean, they get viral proc from Nourish, so see now it got a bit yucky because I got focused a lot. But then we can just take a glaive, do this. Now we have some melee fortification stacks, so now we don't take damage. So yeah, it is a way to help yourself if you take a lot of damage. You see now the fortification stacks are about to run out, and now we're taking damage again. So if things get yucky, Operator and Vazarin, then melee fortification and your Gucci. And you can just play with your normal weapon of choice. I do suggest Torrid because of how well it can proc many statuses at the same time. I mean, you can see how nuts it gets. So. Really good. Also, yes, I am MR30, so I'm just leveling this guy up while doing it. It's all good. By the way, you guys don't forget, latest video, I'll have it on the description so you can enter the giveaway in case you miss it. I see the video hasn't got that many views, but there is a lot of entries already, which makes me really happy because it basically guarantees me that some people would get nice ribbons, and that is exactly what I wanted to achieve. So, 
If you miss that and you want a chance to get some nice ribbons or a nice ribbon out of the bunch that I'm gonna give, then go ahead, click the video in the description, follow instructions, I'll put you right on the list. This. So, one thing that people may notice is that I'm not using Hollowed Ground, and I mean, this build is 100% range, so you could use Hollowed Ground, but it doesn't really do much. It's not that big, so. It also, it subsumes your fourth ability, anyways, so. You may be like, okay, but fourth has armor stripping, so it's good. Well, if I want, since I'm building Corrosive, I can add two Corrosive uh, or two Emerald Archon Shards and just build my Corrosive stacks there and I'm good to go, so... It doesn't really matter, to be honest. But yes. In my opinion, this is the best way to abuse Boban and his abilities. Or, not Boban, uh, Auburn, my bad. And yeah, it's pretty decent. Someone has a Torrid Riven and they can go Corrosive Cold and do this. They will have a lot of fun with this build. Because they will be able to red crit, and the red crits are gonna go nuts. Oh, that's the synthesis target. Okay. Oh. Thank you for your XP, sir. <laughs> Amazing. Alright, Acolyte on the way. I could use the Glade Prime on him, but I think that would be cheating. I'm gonna use a Torrid, which normally doesn't do a lot. It did decently well, I would say. The the glaive would probably one shot him anyway, so I didn't feel like that was any necessity. To do it. So yes, um, pretty fun. The compress also here because you know if you wanna prime the enemies and deal a lot of damage, you can do that, but. Overall, it shouldn't really be needed outside of disruption missions. But yes, this is a really good setup. And don't forget, you always have Phoenix Renewal as a backup in case things go wild and you die. So there is plenty of ways to help yourself not die using the setup. I find it quite interesting. I don't think it is the best in terms of you know, buffing teammates or that kind of stuff. But in terms of being useful in the biggest way you can as the character itself, I think this is like great. You can imagine how nice it would be to have this on a squad because you would go on a squad, this guy would give you enough radiation damage to not overlap your own damage type and usage. And then you would get constant healing and a free revive. And you would be able to energy regen and get free viral damage on top of whatever you already have. So it is quite strong for a team environment. And obviously it's strong in a solo mission as well because you are health tanking quite reliably as well. Because you have immunities on top of immunities... Wait, protective sling, and then you also have a ton of armor if you need through this, so really good, really good. Overall, I think this is a, a build to look out for, because honestly, Oberon hasn't been looking that good for me. I thought, I thought Oberon was probably in one of his weakest states in this current meta, and this kind of brings him back for me, because... I can see myself using this quite often for squads that may be using something that can, you know, something like Citrine, for example. This with Citrine would be absolutely insane. So, yeah. 
do have fun trying this out. I really think it is very, very strong. For now, that's gonna be it for me. I'll have the video description for the giveaway below. The first thing that you're gonna see. As long as... As long... As well as the Discord link and Twitch links. So, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you on the next video.